I've experienced that by me trying to do that and I've also seen in others and it's just not really cute. Hello everyone and welcome to MK Smith House. My name is Kay and I just want to firstly just welcome all of our new and returning subscribers. We appreciate you so very much for taking the time to even subscribe to this channel, to watch, to like, comment, share, and so on. And to all those who were visiting for the first time, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and our content. And if you do, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. So guys, today I am diving into part two of my Becoming a Feminine Woman series. So originally, I was going to make this whole video about why I believe it is important to pursue femininity, at least to me. Like, why is this something I care about? Why is this something that I'm pursuing and working towards? But after thinking, I realized that I probably don't need a full video to simply answer this question. It's actually quite simple. If you watch part one of my series, you know what I believe to be the foundation of femininity. What really, what is the root of it all? What truly matters when it comes to femininity? And knowing that, it may be even obvious to some that I believe it is absolutely important and crucial for me to nurture my husband and nurture my children and nurture all those who I encounter in my life. When I am not nurturing these people or even these, this, even my home and other things, I believe that I may be at risk of neglecting them or even the opposite, actually hindering their growth and development emotionally, spiritually, mentally by my words and actions or lack thereof. So there you guys have it. That is why as a wife and as a mother and as a person in general, I believe that it is something important for me to pursue in my life. So what this video is going to be about though is about speaking femininely. It matters very much about the words we are saying, making sure we are using words that are encouraging, that are going to build others up, that are kind, that are loving, words that are not going to discourage people with it, words that are not going to uh, make people feel bad and bring them down. So that is definitely absolutely one of the most important things about nurturing and the way we speak we want to make sure the words we are saying is going to nurture then there is the voice and the way that we speak like our tone and stuff like that and when i first started this whole journey and i wanted to become more feminine the first thing i started to do was try to change my voice I don't recommend that. I learned not to try to change my voice. Now, we all have different voices. And what I mean by that is like, obviously, our voice changes if we're excited, if we're tired or we're sick, our voice is going to sound different. You know, that's why usually people can tell, oh, you don't sound like you feel very well. You don't sound like yourself because you're tired or you're sick. You're going to sound different. Um, obviously, if you're really excited about something or you're shocked, your voice, your expression, your, your you know, your um, pitch and your tone is going to change. But then we have our normal, just like, you know, our default setting when it comes to the way we are speaking when we're not experiencing any of those things. Which again, our voice is going to change in pitch and tone because of us just trying to be expressive with how we speak, especially as women. But when it comes to the like default voice, I find that if you just try to just sound more feminine, like you try to just maybe raise your pitch or just try to sound different, I find that, at least in my experience, I find it kind of fake. It comes across as fake. And then the default voice that we normally would have that would be pretty similar and pretty like, you know, over the board the same tends to change to be sounding like 10 different kind of voices. I've experienced that by me trying to do that. And I've also seen in others and it's just not really cute. But what I have discovered and what I have done is when I have started to focus on the heart of femininity, the, the foundation, which is the nurture, in my opinion, instead of trying to change my voice, I decided to take a second to pause and really just before I speak to remember what I want to do, which is to nurture this person, to sound nurture, meaning that even if I'm correcting my kids, I still want to do it in a way that's going to cause them to grow. I still want to nurture them. I don't want to tear them down. I want to nurture those that I am speaking to. 
So when I just have that in my mind and I take the second to really stop and think before I speak, then I found that as I've been doing that, my voice has sounded different. I find that all of a sudden I seem to have a more softer feminine tone to my voice than I would if I were to just blurt out words without actually stopping to think. The thing is, is that that should be our default setting. Well, at least I believe it is. And being a believer, and if you are a believer as well, you would know like the word of God tells us that we should, you know, be quick to listen and slow to speak. Like there's so many verses that shows us that we should be careful with our words and be careful how we speak. And even just take a second when a thought comes in our mind, it's better to really kind of let it roll around our mind a bit before just responding and speaking. As I said in my original video when I just introduced this series, I don't have everything down pat. I'm not perfect at everything. So of course there are times when I don't take the second to think before speaking and then I just end up blurting out words and I just say things. And when I say that, I, I don't just only think that I mean just out of anger or frustration. Like there is there is that aspect too where out of anger or frustration I may just blurt out something that I probably shouldn't say or definitely could have said in a much kinder way. But even just in general, like just how we speak, even if I'm not into a angry mood or whatever the case is, I find that if I just speak without actually taking a, a split second in my mind to 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 really think about what I'm really going to say, then I find that my voice honestly doesn't sound very feminine. It just doesn't. My voice sounds a way that I probably, that I really don't really like to be honest. Um, It's not soft. It's not gentle. It's not at all feminine and I'm not even saying that even when I do do this thing where I stop and think that I my voice is super feminine well not maybe not to others but that's the thing I believe that it's gonna look different for all of us we are not gonna all sound the same I don't believe we should all sound the same as women like imagine like there's a room a, a room full of women and your husband cannot even pick out your your voice from another person like you know you want I, all of us are gonna sound different so that would be my advice would be not to do the make the mistake I made by trying to change the way you sound. Just focus on what is important, which is that I want to nurture this person. I want to be a blessing to this person. I want to be loving to this person. And even as a believer, I want to show Christ to this person. And when you do that and that's your focus, then your voice may just simply sound different. At least that's my experience anyways. So guys, if your focus is that, your focus is nurturing others, then, and you're taking a time, a just split second to think before you speak, then naturally your words are going to be a lot better than they probably were if you just blurted it out. And also you, your tone and you may soften and you will probably come across as more feminine when you do that. It is much better than trying to just change your voice, trying to sound different than you may come across as fake and you're going to have all these different kind of default voices and it's going to be just weird and unnatural. That is all I have for you based on that topic about speaking femininely. I hope you all enjoyed that. Please comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Have you tried to change your voice before to sound more feminine or more girly? How did that work out for you? What are your thoughts are on that? Again, thank you for watching and please subscribe. See you guys next time.